right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zuff. And we are Real Time. Today, we got Season 2, Episode 3 of Bridgerton. This one's called A Bee in Your Bonnet. I, I know bees have been a recurring thing. I think he says the Bridgerton s- bees. symbol. I'm pretty Bridgerton. sure it's the symbol of House Bridgerton. Okay. I also saw that uh, I'm pretty sure Featherington House symbol is a butterfly. Fun fact. Screw the Featherington. <laughs> honestly. I like some of them. I mean, I like Penelope. You like Penelope. I like that's Penelope. That's literally it. They're, I, they're, I don't have a problem with the the sisters, but they just do. kinda don't exist to I me. I do have a problem because in episode one, Prudence came in and just got Penelope in trouble for no oh, reason. Oh yeah, that's true. You're writing to Colin Bridgerton, you guys think you're friends. Yeah, that is true. But yeah, apparently they are just friends after last episode. He yeah. doesn't see her as a woman or like a how he would see like a potential spouse. He just sees her as a friend, which I've thought this whole time. <laughs> like yeah. she's kinda romanticized the idea of her and Colin and I feel bad, but I just don't think he sees her that way at all. No. It's definitely more of like a brother-sister relationship, at least from like his perspective. Last episode was a huge Anthony episode. Anthony is just whittling in, playing. I mean, he's not playing games, but Kate thinks he's playing games. He's, he's making, sort of playing games. Yeah, he low-key he, like mm-hmm. kind of set that dude up to be yeah. like, hey, Kate, can I sit with you? He's oh, ma- I'm actually only here because yeah. Anthony told me to be here. He's making a lot of moves. Like he's, he bought uh, and we know horse. I want to see him wheel one of these Sharma girls for sure. I mean, they're really charming, uh, charming if you would. One more than the other, I'd say. Yeah, I think Edwin is definitely the charmer right now. But I'm I'm gonna fall in love with Kate as this goes on for sure. As as I see their romance build up, I'm gonna be like, yeah, these these two are men for each other for sure. I feel like Anthony and Kate are like the same person. Yeah, like they're and- just so similar. And and seeing them like get so into that race together and like. I think you said Bryce. They they have like the same energy. Uh, it was I don't know. It just seemed like that was a better match in that moment, and uh, I feel like they will be better together. They're just they're setting it up for there to be some huge drama between the Sharma sisters. I feel like they both have their guards up for different reasons. Like I think we haven't got the backstory on what happened to her mother, but I feel like maybe she's like scared of something and, and like. Her father died too so like i'm sure she's scared of like something happening and that's why she wants to be alone and also we haven't really heard too much about lord bridgerton yeah, yeah their father I, th- so. I think anthony and kate though are twin flames and like once you have that feeling like once you find your twin flame it's just it's game over like you're you're wrapped you're wrapped like that's a win but yeah at the end madame delacroix like caught penelope at that market it seemed like it was in like a a poor side of town but she was she's kind of eloise is kind of uh getting a lead here on whistle down like she's been Mm -hmm. trying to she noticed that the k is the same as the one pamphlet printed from the one printer she's like if and (laughs) pen literally like helped herself out she's like if it's the same k next time we know yeah, it's her. then we know it's not yeah it's the mm-hmm. same printer so she just went and bought a new k yep. but madame delacroix caught her i i think she's like what's a k like what is that just the letter That'd k be a letter like it, how do they write it? it it the k was messed up so it was very noticeable that like it was the same printer because they have to individually put each letter down back mm. then so the k was like chipped or something so they they knew it was the same person, but yeah, I, I don't remember if Madame Delacroix was actually chasing her or not. I think she might have been going after her, but like, I don't. I don't think so, honestly. I think she was just like. It did seem like she chased her there at the end, but it's sauce either way. Like that For she sure. just ran away without the wrong saying down. a word. Anthony uh, had a cool moment when he came in there with the poem. It he took lessons from Benedict, and speaking of Benedict, uh, we met Will. Are Again. We seen, <laughs> yeah, we saw Will for the first time this season, and he has his own gentleman shop now. I think it's going to be a, like a hangout place for Benedict this season for sure. He's going to be in there a lot. He was talking to one of those artist guys, which was cool to see, but then he got interrupted by Anthony and gave him like a poem. He wrote the poem down, and then Anthony sort of came out like with his own heart. He started saying stuff uh, that came from himself, and uh, Edwina ate that shit up. She loved it. She absolutely freaking loved it. And I think she's in love with him. She thinks she's a, he is a true gentleman. So I'm so excited to see how uh, Kate steals him away. I really liked the talk that 
Lady Danbury had with Kate. Oh, yeah. That was really good. I feel like that'll hopefully spark something in Kate. Like, get her to actually maybe accept some suitors into her life. Hopefully after that talk, like, she's gonna be less defensive of Edwina. Like, maybe open up to the idea of Anthony a little bit more. But at the end of the day, I feel like Anthony and Kate are gonna spark something. I feel like Kate's gonna go through a phase where just absolutely hardcore try to make Anthony jealous. I mean, like, she's just gonna keep going up to different males, maybe even kiss them. No, you, you can't do that as a lady. That would, like, ruin her virtue or whatever. Really? Yeah, that's, that's like, way, way not okay. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Before we get into this one, if you guys have been enjoying all of our Bridgerton reactions, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting very, very close to 100K subscribers, so please pound that button. If you have not already, we really, really appreciate that. Check out our links in the description as well. We got our Patreon, our Discord, and our social medias. Then at the very bottom is going to be the address to our PO box. Send us something for our series mail time on the channel, like everything you see behind us right now. But yeah, let's get into it. Season 2, Episode 3 of Bridgerton, A Bee in Your Bonnet. Let's go. Whoa! Oh, their dad's alive, I guarantee oh. it. Oh my. What an absolute juicer of a doe. I think it's a buck, huh? I think it's an elk. I had no match for Isn't a doe a female? Or a yeah. caribou. Yeah. That looks like Anthony. The dad? No, the kid. Is that just Anthony? I think so. Younger. I and mean, he's 10 years younger, huh? Missed. Yeah, dude, it just doesn't, is, look, <laughs> doesn't look any younger, actually. Oh, oh that, he nailed oh, that. Man, I don't want to watch that. That's so mean and brutal. Look, that's not how deer fall. I feel like they start running. Yeah. They didn't <laughs> even grab it. They just killed it for slaughter. How did he die? He was so young. You cannot show someone your best without allowing them to see your worst. I'm sorry, but why does the dad look so young? I'm so confused. I mean, the mom's young. A bee for your bonnet. In your bonnet. In your bonnet. I mean, what's a bonnet? Like a flower case? Quite lovely, are they? It's like a type of hat, like a headdress. Oh yeah. Oh no! Is he allergic or something? Uh oh. Brother. Oh no. Whatever. Oh, he's gonna start Father. wheezing. Oh my god. What? This is how he oh, dies. man, he's mad allergic to bees. Yeah, I guess back then you wouldn't really know until... Yeah, I'm, pretty sure bees right. did, I'm pretty sure bees did kill a lot of people back then. Definitely pregnant with Hyacinth right now. Oh god. I don't know, I don't know. No way this is how he died. A bee. Wow. Wow, that is so bad. Edmund. A bee killed him. A like a little bee, a little bastard. That's how his dad died. Oh my died? goodness. These kids all look the same age. Anthony, go take care of your brother or your siblings. Oh. Anthony was right there. He was picking a flower for his wife, bro. That's crazy. Just a bee. That's how he died? Perhaps I wear the pink silks at dinner tonight. Do you think Lord Bridgeton will like it? Of course he will. You need not worry about the... See, Kate, Kate's yeah. like okay with the idea a little bit more. That he's invited us to spend a few days with the family before the rest of the town arrives for the real party. <laughs> Perhaps by then you will have an engagement to announce. Ooh, probably not. We should all pass the week with open minds. <laughs> Look at that stare. An absolute menace Danbury is. Danbury is. We will head to the Modiste after breakfast. Mm, no, 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 no. What's we the don't Modiste? Want... Madame Delacroix. What we need to find is someone... Malleable. Someone stupid enough not to know any better, and certainly not to know how to take on and manage a household. I want to move into Philippa's room. Why she always got the bigger one has never been fair. Is that? Oh my God! They're gonna try to get him to marry Philip or the daughter. Prudence. Marriageable match. 
Lord Featherington would make. It's just they're calling her stupid. You. He's our cousin. It is not odd to marry one's cousin. This regal. Just look at the royal family. Yeah. You can marry a fourth cousin. I don't see the problem. Present or past. Here we go. This is a beautiful home. Oh. Daphne! Yes! Yay. The baby! The baby! I would allow What's you. the name? Oh, Augie, Augie. No oh, way. My oh my god! Little baby Augie. That is lit! <laughs> I have invited one such young lady and her family to join us today. And it is the Sharmas. Yes, and she's quite lovely. Look at Gregory. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say something about that young fellow in the back. <laughs> Dude, you... <laughs> that sentence was so much longer than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god. Me too, bro. <laughs> I'm afraid you must all help me win over both sisters if I'm to find my bride. And now you appeal for help. My, you must be smitten by this miss. All the sisters are formidable obstacle indeed. I'll fin <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Benedict always just comes in with the, the cheeky banter. He always looks so silly saying it. His voice, like, with the tone. I see my plan to win you over is already working. You're <laughs> smiling at the view, which you are now blocking. Oh, you brought your dog? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you brought your dog? <laughs> And you must be Miss Edwina. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh. no, 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 no. Daphne? No. Daphne? Hmm. That was weird. It's just it looked like he was going for a hand grab. Miss Edwina, I am pleased. Uh, I feel like Daphne was like, oh, you like Kate, huh? Thank you so much for inviting Does Daphne look different? I very much look forward to spending time. She looks with like. And your family. Better. <laughs> that baby's so cute. I know, dude. Do not mind, Eloise. Always so spirited in the country. Then we have that in common. Oh yeah, they were they were really uh, yeah, getting along, weren't they? Were, they? Uh, there is something I should be making up. The ring. ring. So you're quite certain your decision then I take it. I believe I made my intention. Whoa, oh, I love that little box that it's in. Yeah, that is really cool. It's a heart. Thomas have barely unpacked their things. You should take the opportunity to get to know one another. Mm. Unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right for the kill. Just like I killed that doe. It was just not a doe. And he didn't kill it. <laughs> okay. Both wrong. <laughs> they also left it in the woods. Wrong so. on both accounts. <laughs> you have wanted me to marry for years. And now you suggest I wait. I did not say that. I only want you to be certain. Yeah, for real, I thought you'd be super happy, Mom. He's, he's going to ask Kate. It's going to be out of the blue. He's going to do it. Is he not? Oh, he's thinking of his dad. My lord, uh, my I think this is it's after. Casket, of course. He was oh, right, dude. There. He just had to become the man of the house immediately. He had no time to mourn. It looks like. With a baby, this cannot be good for her. Oh my God, it's so overwhelming. That's what I mean, dude. This isn't. This is really a lot for him to handle. It all happened so fast. He was literally just out with his dad. Yeah, now. that is. Fucked up. Now all of his dad's responsibility is his, just instantly. No time to mourn his dad's death. How Mel is less about the rules, more about the goal. Which is, of course, to hit your ball through each wicket. This is just like, uh, okay. He's usually the most genteel sportsman, except as far as this field is concerned. I'm sure the Viscount is an excellent player. We will all pass a very pleasant afternoon. Yes. Be so optimistic. That is what we are going to do. Here we go. The modiste. No, it should be lower in the bus. We must. And what were you doing in those parts, Penelope? Madame, I must protest. I don't pay you to protest. protest. I pay you to fashion the dresses. He's trying to get her to get her boobies to pop out more. Oh, some alone time. So, Penelope, what were you doing over there? Get in the K. Are you often in that part of town? Seems. It is rather far from the fashionable side, is it not? Perhaps one might just do the same thing. How did you start with questioning her? But I will not. Because I happen to believe a lady's business is her own. Would you not agree? See, Madame Delacroix just minds her own business. Like, she's not trying to get involved in all this drama. The only fair thing to do is to let our invited guests choose their mallets. And strike first. The mallet of death. <laughs> the mallet of death. Is this yours? I knew it. You want to? <laughs> He's pissed. That's mine. You took mine. I know some men cannot perform without their familiar tools. 
like a child with a blanket. Mm. Oh. See, that's what I, I mean. I know a child with a blanket. Zuff has a blanket. Spoiler alert, guys. There is a blanket <laughs> under his, on his lap right now, <laughs> on the table. Show him, Zuff. Show him. Show him the blanket. Lullaby! Oh, we weren't kidding. We were not <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I think I screamed lullaby for some reason. It's the Bridgertons having some fun. This is, I love this. Fun and games. I would love to be a part of the Bridgerton family. She's about to knock it in. Yes, sir. Kate's the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love Colin's outfit right I, now. I feel like Edwina feels it. Out of, I feel like Edwina feels out of place. Yeah. Kate's definitely like vibing with the fam a better, I think. The mallet of death. No way. Money. Oh my goodness, she's so good. Anthony's pissed. <laughs> He's so <laughs> mad. I guess, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mr. Edwina, I believe you are next. I did not wish to leave my ball in your path, so I've left an open space. <laughs> I purposely hit it over there. Left you some room. He looks so pleased with himself. That was a good shot, though. Yeah, like, what? What are we being so weird? I've applied to become a student of art. Oh, Benedict, that's so cool. Academy schools. Have you? Well, congratulations. Well, do not celebrate yet. I wait word of my acceptance. Well, it's hardly a grand tour as you had with your travels, but... Come on, it's, it's, it's such an honor. I feel like he's, like, looking down on himself. Yeah, I feel like Benedict doesn't have a whole lot of self... Like self worth, or he doesn't think he has a whole lot. Oh, no. Who's gonna win? It's gonna Kate. be Kate or Anthony. Kate. What do you say, my lord? Are you in a losing mood? My mood shall remain unchanged, regardless of your choice. Then you shall not mind this. Uh oh. Oh, what? <laughs> she just launched that thing. <laughs> Whoa! That didn't follow <laughs> I, I, it felt like it kind of. Defied gravity yeah, for a bit there. Yeah, for sure. I feel like she hit it and it went through the air straight. <laughs> this one's going in the weeds, bro. <laughs> that one also Dude, looks a little weird. The CGI yeah. they have for that is strange. I don't, <laughs> nice know, I don't know about that. You could still retrieve your ball if you wish to stay in the game. This is this feels weird now. This I whole game. She doesn't want to go in there, bro. I think I shall cut out. That's uh, alright. I'm not going in the woods. I shall uh, join you, if you like. There is no need to spoil your fun on my account. I shall enjoy some refreshments with our mamas. I need to okay. win this game. Yeah, I'm just trying to catch this W. Your sister's crawling up on my lead here. My ball's on freaking Mars right now. Yeah, literally. Oh, he's gonna drill Anthony's ball. Or, no, that's Kate's ball. Oh, <laughs> Why does it look so bad? What a shame. You two better go fetch them. Uh oh. Like to quit here and now. Those two are going to go oh, off by themselves. They're going in the woods together, oh, bro. Oh, no. That's where they met. Oh, no. Oh, no. They just. I want it, though. I want it to happen. About I to, know, we're dude. about to get an Anthony season one, episode one shot of him on the tree doing it. You guys no, you guys no, that's not. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. They are just so similar, dude. It's insane. We should never hit the end of it. Well, you would be magnanimous to the victory. I'd They're gonna have a moment where they have to like hold each other in here. They're gonna get real close, yeah. It's in the water. Right yeah, there. right. It went through all that shit. She wow. don't give a damn. She's getting way dirtier than she has to. She's gonna splash this thing. Oh, you gotta play where it lies. That's the rule. <laughs> you don't wish to dare see those fine boots. Do not worry about my You're about boots. to get all muddy and have some fun. Don't worry about my boots. Oh my gosh. Look at that. They're just... They're equals. Salt and pepper, dude. They're the same. I mean, salt and pepper are quite different. I'm trying. It's stuck. Oh, she's stuck. Oh. oh the... Pull her out, falls on top of him. Calling it now. <laughs> Look at that, man. <laughs> oh. Now they're just extremely muddy. And stuck. 
Might as well just kiss while we're at it. It's not amusing. Did not say it was. <laughs> oh, oh my god, bro. I love it. I love it so much. I do too. Wow. Whoa, it's still going. <laughs> wow, bro. Wow, Look her dresses how dirty are. they are. Since we are long past formalities, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what must I do to win your approval? I do not withhold it out of spite, my lord. I simply wish to steer my sister to the greatest possible happiness. I would have thought you could understand my position, seeing as you. Yep, did the same thing with Daphne last season. I shall never surrender to you on the sporting field. Chaos. <laughs> Your turn, my lord. Where are they hitting? Oh, look at the way he's looking at her, bro. Is something the matter? Whoa, he's just staring at her. She will be amusing company at dinner. <laughs> are you okay, Anthony? <laughs> he's just. Lord Bridgerton, do you not wish to retreat? Your... What? His, did his mood just 180 there? What happened? I feel like he just realized that he liked her. I got a he got upset. I got a boner. The game's over. <laughs> what? <laughs> we do something about this area. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Bad call on my part. Bad. <laughs> yeah, you can't go over here, dude. Man, he had it rough, man. That's why he left, huh? He would have broke down probably. Oh, and it's raining now. Oh no. It's probably the first night. Oh, I remember Eloise talking about this night. Daphne sang to her so she couldn't hear her mom's screams. The baby is not in position. Wait. What does that mean? It has turned the wrong way. I need to know what you would like us to do. I don't know what you... I will do my best. Did they not... Did they... But there may need to be... Do they have a failed, um... Birth here? Who would your lordship prefer? They have a sibling that there's no, no sibling. No, I think... What do you say? They, they remember... They just... I remember they talked about this before. Her... Their mom almost died from this childbirth. Oh, I'm pretty sure she's about to have a C-section. But it was way oh. riskier back then. So my child, he was born in this very room. From this very body. It is no matter to him. No, they do have this baby. I did the counting. This is Hyacinth. He is asking you to decide which one of us should live. Oh. Me or the baby. You kill the baby. You save the mother. You cut the mother. You save the child. Yep, he wants to do a C-section. This is Lordship's choice. Edmund is his Lordship. Oh. Bro, imagine this being is... responsible for your mother's pregnancy fucking and her insane. life. That is so. But he put, got put into one of the worst situations. I should not have to explain this to anyone. Edna should be here. Oh, this is some trauma, bro. This is some serious trauma. Good. Whatever she chooses. That's the answer. Like. I'll do my best to save them both. Just bad memories here, man. Oh man, do I feel bad for Anthony. Flutter it so. To draw his eyes to your bosom. Yeah. Let your cousin look at your boobs. <laughs> Yo, cousin, check these things out. <laughs> it's hot though. Is it not prudent? Yes, it's very hot. Unseasonably so. I can't look. I'm too embarrassed. Mama says everywhere beyond Hampshire is positively uncivilized. <laughs> well, the Americas are certainly further than Hampshire. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, oh, why oh, can't, oh. I can't I feel like I haven't been able to look at the screen for the past two minutes. I just this is oh, too I much. To oh, and Cressida's, Cressida's family. Getting low over here. <laughs> you know that song by Flo Ride. Do look forward to. Supporting my husband in whatever his endeavors may be. 
Ooh. Do you express yourself so agreeably, Zermila? To be clear, my lord, that is not to say I do not have a mind of my own. Oh. Well, hold up, hold up. I myself am fortunate to have found a love of literature, but also of learning as well. Oh, uh, he's he's lighting up. He likes this. Edwina's super cool too, yeah. bro. She is a beautiful soul. The only books I've read this year are ledgers of the estate's accounts, and um, they're all dreadfully boring. <laughs> I need some good books. Look at them. Oh, they're ending off. Making me happy. I'm much too busy to read, and I am very much in need of someone to tell about my stories. I so enjoy talking about books. Wow. It's perfect. Go on, Kate's gonna ruin it. <laughs> Is she? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. What? What did you talk about? Lady Danbury. Oh my god. You would think she maybe whistled down. I truly believe something will come of this. But I like him. Oh, she feels the proposal coming, and he has the ring. Did not appear to be having much fun. Well, how could she have done? With a lot of you oh, these two. <laughs> Eavesdropping, dude. Those are close-ups. I'm trying to get some info. What exactly are your objections? I think you might like Kate. Well, I, I suppose I do not have any. If you say she is the one in whose presence you cannot properly think or even... She is the one that you burn for. As I burn for Simon. What is... Love. The one that makes it impossible for you to look away from them. Sounds like Kate. Sounds like Kate. He always talks to Kate first. When all you are able to do in their presence is to it's find to oh. lean forward and, and touch their lips with yours. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. That's how I feel about Big Sis. That's how I feel about Kate. Yeah, Anthony's exactly. like, fuck, I come in love with the wrong sister. <laughs> they certainly do make for the most exquisite of necklaces, my lord. Why talk of rubies across the ocean when there is so much to discover just here? I right, tell me, Miss Gal- Is Prudence getting drunk? You are a credit to your sex, indeed. <laughs> I say, Featherington, I bet you could never find a venison like this in the- Who the hell is that guy? <laughs> lord Cowper. <laughs> then you must be our guest, my cook. Is renowned for her tribal. Is that the cook you stole from the Evans house? Oh God, Lady Featherington, chill. As someone who sees you as you truly are, to help ease the burdens of the day. Saying all this and staring at Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Madame Delacroix's designs seem rather tired by comparison. Oh, okay. oh all right. Could you stop your interruptions? I was really asking. She said one thing. Prudence, did you say something? <laughs> Did you say something? I did. No, she did. <laughs> I was wondering if perhaps after dinner I might display my singing voice. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> this is fucking brutal to watch. I, I, <laughs> my contact just popped up. I think any any time that daughter oh, is on geez. the screen. Huh? I can't handle any time that one daughter talks. <laughs> I can't. It's always terrible. If it is a clear mind you seek, brother, I may know how to help. Well, the travelers use it as a way to open their minds and transcend ordinary Oh, results. no. What is he putting in? I think we're doing mushrooms or something like that. It only takes the smallest of doses to fill the effect. Oh, no. And is Benedict going to tweak? <laughs> How do you think a tea will distract me from the momentous decision the proctors at the royal schools are making at this very moment? Or perhaps it will allow you to escape the thoughts that have been plaguing your mind. The doubts, the questions that seem to link. It's definitely like some shrooms or something. It's something that's going to make him trip, I it's think. A psychedelic. I found myself meditating for hours upon a single blade of grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to... Benedict's going to go crazy. No. Bro. Uh, Wait. He's just going to die. Can he's, you... He's going to go insane. Hell in the devil. Oh, that's bad. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, is he gonna tweak? Oh my gosh, is he gonna tweak? <laughs> oh, can bad. you live? I don't. We don't even know what he took. I have no idea. I mean, I don't think. Can you OD on shrooms? Probably if you I'm take sure enough. Take too many. 
Was it your choice you never married? My brothers tell me I have a habit of being rather direct. <laughs> but everyone tells me it is fate worse than death to end up a spinster. But you seem... Eloise probably admires her for not being married. She doesn't want to be mm -hmm. a part of this. Oh. Going to visit his he dad. A shovel. Perhaps you could join us for family dinner. I know this is hard. I know you miss him. But we like this is hard on Anthony too, right? Yeah. This is my best. I am doing my best. Every day I get up, I, I get dressed, I feed myself, I try to breathe in and out. Sorry I feel for little baby eyes it's because she will never know Edmund's love. Oh. All I'm thinking is that this little baby did not do me the kindness of killing oh my me God. so that I could That's be terrible. with my husband. I am doing my best. Oh God, Violet, that was so sad. Oh man, Anthony has some suppressed trauma. I can take my leave. No, stay. Please. I mean, she's doing much better though. I mean, Time yeah, heals. Well, we saw that that was like very soon after the death. Isn't that the flower of the bead? The bee was on that flower? Yeah. Type of flower? Just because you are dedicated to this family does not mean that there should be no room left for love, Anthony. You can have both, Anthony. You deserve both. Viscount, seriously, but he also loved deeply. It is what you have always wanted. You're quite certain how well you know. Mm. As a boy, always with a kind word and a, and a joke, but then after your father died, a wall went up inside you as if love had become some some weakness. I feel like Anthony never got a chance to mourn over his dad's death. I still have no place in my marriage. You cannot mean that. I seek an amiable partner with whom I may share a pleasant life, untouched by heartbreak and the ravages of grief. We need to get this loving Anthony back. Yo. After he died. Mm. And yet I myself, I'm cursed to remember every waking moment. Wow. I can never be the cause of such pain. No matter how cruel and hard-hearted everyone else may find me to be. The literal same thing that was holding Simon back, something of that nature. He just doesn't want to hurt anybody the way that his dad hurt their family by dying. I'm just saying both of the men yeah, had obstacles. Very similar. It's exceptionally well lit. This oh my god, he's confused. tweaking. He's tripping. Twinkle of the candles. It is as, <laughs> as if we sit among the stars. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, dude. My sister and I were known to be a handful growing up, too. Mm, I can imagine. But oh my gosh. It always has happened. Oh, knows. It was a revelation, really. Made all the better by the knowledge that I may have... Nope, been staring at her. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to do that. He loves to do that. Oh, Benedict. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he went... Booty. <laughs> Other pressing matters. What? You trying what? to set up a proposal here? Engagement? Engagement? Uh, I believe my sister and I have grown rather weird. A toast? Yes. Uh oh. Never mind. Nope. Nope. It's certainly been a privilege to truly make your acquaintance these past days. In fact, I believe there is a question I would like to ask you. Oh, God. He's not going to ask it, no. is he? Bro. Can I have your sister's hand? <laughs> I'd like to, uh. Oh. He's not gonna do it. I should like to ask you to please refrain from telling anyone back in London about yesterday's loss. I fear the oh, oh my god would be too great. Oh my god! That's I, th hard. I think everyone is like, "What was that? What was that?" He looked at her and changed his mind. <laughs> <laughs> what Daphne said got to him. I think he he just didn't feel that feeling. She's relieved. Kate's relieved. It didn't happen. For what reason? I feel like she, she's just not ready. Like, she was trying to get them to leave. He's like, me and my sister, we're done. We're done. We're going. What if I had missed my chance, Edwina? Perhaps I should have found out more. 
about the Bridgertons. I should have known more about the- oh, She's gonna get so sad if he falls for Kate. You bungled this entire affair. Wasn't you? And now I feel like a fool. Aw, oh, come on, Edwina. I just feel like she's- Kate's such a good big sister. I find it hard to see her doing that to I know. Edwina. I know. Benedict is tripping and bee vest. The bee vest. Whoa, that's oh. actually beautiful. Can you still up? <laughs> you may wish to bathe before you see Mother in the morning. It's magical, brother. <laughs> oh, paint all over his face, huh? Benedict, something has apparently arrived for you. Oh, it's Election from the school. Oh, no. Oh, don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. Out of the place. What? The Royal School's a big temple. Nice. <laughs> I got it! Yes! Go. Oh, am I so happy for him. That's a great promise in my work. Don't Let's my go! <laughs> You're so old, man! <laughs> <laughs> he really had to get that out. Do you ever hear from her, Miss Thompson? Oh, Marina. Are you ladies not always writing letters? He's still thinking about her. She lives not far from here, you know? Mm. I'm honored. Is he gonna, are Except. we gonna see Marina this season? That'd be crazy. You're accepted. <laughs> <laughs> For how else might one explain the tawdry, dare I say, vulgar gowns sported lately by Mr. Because they go to the others, the other uh, modiste, yeah. Imagine getting singled out in the Lady Whistledown. Newest modiste has one thing and one thing only going for her. She is new. <laughs> Whereas Madame Delacroix might be old. This is her king, her for not spilling mm. the beans. Yep. To earn her trust, for sure. Yeah. It's gonna be Pen. Miss Penelope, it is your job to be observant, is it not? To hide your client's secrets with a well draped piece of fabric or a cleverly embellished. Do you say something? I have no interest in revealing your identity. Yeah, she knows, for that sure. That's not why I'm here. I believe I can trust you, Madame Delacroix. In a world of men, you have built a thriving business. Are we about to partner up? I hope so. Is someone coming in? If I spotted by you so easily, it is only so long before I get recognized by someone less discreet. I have proved to you how I can help you in your business. Now help me. I'd like you to help me with mine. Heck yeah. Equivalent exchange. Did you have to call me old? True. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I just let me admire the flowers. He does. I would like to thank you for She should not be disappointed for long. I must assure her I still intend to propose. Mm -hmm. Miss Edwina seems perfectly capable of forming her own impressions. Perhaps if you took notice. So now you claim to know my sister. Um. This is precisely what I wish for her. I can assure you, happiness is not your strength. Exasperation, perhaps. Vexation. Oh, be. I mean, he's going to freak out. He's going to freak out. He's going to try to protect her. Is that of discontent? Not... Do not tell me no, no, what to do! Oh my gosh. A bee in your bonnet. No, no, do not do this. Only a bee. Ow. Oh no. Stung her. Oh it's no. Stung her. Isn't it? Can you breathe? It is only a sting. Oh. Are you certain? Oh, Anthony. No, no. Do not. Do not. Oh no. Oh gosh. He's just freaking out. Oh, she's calming him down. Oh god, oh god. Zuff, are you right? Are they about to kiss? Oh, come on. That was such a weird transition. Wow. I was getting crazy anxiety. I was on the edge of my seat. I think she... Okay, they are both feeling some type of way. Clicked. They are both feeling it. Boy, did I feel bad for him there. He was tweaking. Look at him. Oh, I can't even imagine, bro. 
PTSD from that. I mean, that was basically a kiss. No, no. Mm. Quite literally. Lips need a touch. What did they not do? Touch, touch. They touch. But he did place his hand by her I'm heart. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I think that was my favorite episode of Bridgerton yet. I was, I was honestly gonna say that might have been my favorite episode of the season. That was a really, really well, good I mean, episode. There's only been three this season. I'm saying the whole series. Yeah, I know. I just, I don't know. There were some good episodes in season one for sure. But that episode was crazy. Yeah, it, it was definitely super, super good. I, oh, I feel like the love triangle has finally started. Like, with the way that that ended, there's actually some substance behind, like, him having feelings for Kate. I feel like before it was all just, like, theory theorizing and, like, just wanting that to happen. But now it's actually, like, a real possibility. It's, like, a real thing that's happening now. I think they'll be good together, though. Like, I mean, we're surely he's going to find a love before the end I of mean, the season. I mean, just look at how calm she made him in that situation, yeah. dude. He, he was at, like, a million anxiety like literally like reliving his father's death probably from ptsd yeah and she was able to like calm him down and bring him back to earth dude like that's that's what he needs that's exactly what he needs and i think in that moment he probably realized that kate is what he needs and i think it scared him a little bit and he ran away i mean she ran even quicker yeah though. i think they both realized the same thing that they they like each other. I just think it's bad. It's way worse for Kate though, because yeah, her little like it'll be just it'll absolutely. be brutal for Edwina. I feel like there's like an opening now. Now there though, like she even told her like, oh, every man in London wants you when we go back. So maybe now she's gonna like kind of try to get her away. I feel like Edwina's Anthony. gonna think that like Kate did it on purpose though to just get. Yeah, what in reality she didn't really have this intention. I don't mm -hmm. think. But now it's like I feel the like timing's kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. I feel like Edwina could, just from her perspective, you could definitely say that Kate has been like trying to get call or Anthony to not be with Edwina. Yeah. So for then Kate to be with Anthony, like that's such a betrayal, bro. Dude, I don't think I've ever been so locked in when they were about to kiss oh my I god was dude. just i couldn't even as soon as that b say showed, anything i was just like like just staring at it like as soon like, as that b it. showed up i could i was i was losing it mentally i couldn't you backed I, up i know i was so in what, you think you were gonna get stunned yeah i was gonna get <laughs> i'm not allergic to bees but but yeah with that being said we did get to see how his father passed was how was it's crazy back then you just don't know what you're allergic to and, until yeah you get stung by it or something that and that terrible. Guy is like I mean, I feel like watching Anthony go through the things he had to was even more worse than the actual initial sting itself. Like we we definitely saw a lot of trauma from Anthony's past in this episode. Just, I feel like his character is just a completely different character after like getting that knowledge yeah. on him. Yeah, he he's just he was there to watch. Like he was literally with his dad when he died. And Didn't then, have time to mourn either. No, literally, he went from being a son, like a kid. To the next second just you're the lord of the house all of your dad's responsibility is now yours also your mom is in like this yeah. state of mind where she's basically like not even there one of his like, first it decisions was, was if he had to pick the baby or his the... mom's life yeah, that's... that's insane that's crazy yeah and, and like i mean obviously i'm not faulting the mom at all because she was in i can't even imagine her perspective like being a pregnant woman and losing your husband like that especially after so many years of marriage but like she was definitely not treating anthony very well uh -huh. like in that time after the father's death um and i definitely think that that had an effect on anthony for sure i mean she even said like he used to be a much different kid mm -hmm. growing up like he he was the most loving kid and everything yeah after his father passed he put up a wall so like now he like doesn't let in love or like give out love that much because he's scared of like hurting people that's so sad dude that he doesn't want to allow himself to fall in love with a woman because he doesn't want to put her through the pain that like his mother yeah. had to go through like that that's such a selfless act honestly but again like Zuff said it is very similar to the duke in the first season where he just has this mental block in his head that he just refuses to allow himself to be happy i think he'll get over it and um i think he's gonna be very similar ending of him probably being with Kate. Yeah, Simon just needed Daphne to unlock that in him. 
Yeah, and it seems like Anthony gonna have Kate now to help him with that. So that's yeah, awesome. I just I need to see how they manage this and like the sisters' relationship isn't ruined because mm -hmm. right now it just seems like so bad. Not everything was sad this episode though. Um, Benedict and Colin did uh, some sort of psychedelic, like Bryce said, and he ended up getting accepted into art school. So that's cool. I think he's. I mean, I'm sure we'll still see him a lot. He probably won't get shipped off right away to art school. Or I don't know how that works, but I'm I'm happy for him. Uh, he was so funny this episode at the table, yelling out the window, and also I. Colin had that little talk with um, Eloise, Eloise saying yeah. how, or she said how Miss Thompson or Marina, Marina was still yeah. pretty close and said like, maybe you can go talk to I her. I think we might see her. Yeah, I did not think we were getting her this year. By now her baby will be born and everything. For sure. Too. I think it would actually be pretty cool if Colin went and paid her a visit just to say like, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I think that'd he's be like, awesome. I think he's like still in love with her though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but she's a married woman now, has a son, like a child, so nothing's going to happen She's a there. child. I think I think though he definitely did have real feelings for her and he didn't forget about that in his time away. Um, but I think it would be good for him to pay yeah. her a visit. Yeah, but Penn really helped out M Madame Delacroix there after she helped out Penn. Um, she didn't spill the beans on her identity, so Penn was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's gas up the shop. Let's shit on this other modiste and gas up hers. To my liking, also shit on Cressida, Cressida in, yeah. the, in the process. I was awesome. lining too. Yeah, and Cressida's currently about to attend like a ball or something with Lord Featherington. Lord Featherington. And they're trying to get freaking Prudence, Prudence to get with them. It's all weird in that feather. Featherington household is very weird and different from the British Inns right now. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting seeing Penn and Madame Delacroix like team up in the future. Like, I feel like yeah, that I is think that's that's a good duo. I think. I think Delacroix is one of the cooler characters in the show for sure. It's also like really good for their alibi or whatever because Eloise has completely ruled out Madame Delacroix as whistle down after last season, thinking mm -hmm. it was her, and then getting a the, the word from Benedict that they were at a party that night or whatever. So. She's not going to be sus. We still didn't get any update from the queen there about like their potential suspects of whistle down those pieces of paper they had of all the pictures of the girls. But, but yeah, I think Penn and Madame Delacroix are going to do some yeah. like, awesome things. Together. Pretty sure. Pretty sure Delacroix knew Penn was it when yeah, she saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, He's a smart lady. Yeah. All right, guys, that's pretty much it though for this episode. If you guys have been enjoying our Bridgerton reactions, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description as well. Our first one's the Patreon. We have the full uncut reactions to every episode of Bridgerton up over on there, as well as early access to future episodes. Second link's the Discord. Come join that. Talk to us about Bridgerton. We got a really, really cool community, so stop by. And lastly, follow our social medias. We got our Instagrams and our Twitters down there. Then at the very bottom is the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on our series mail time on the channel, like every thing behind us right now but yeah that's pretty much it we'll catch you guys next time for season two episode four bridgerton peace out